step away from the bottom, you spike-happy hooligans! My shots may not be effective against these guys in the dark, but a well-aimed power shot should do the trick. Ah, revved up and ready for action. Hey, that hurt! The Sprinkle Puff Donut Shop. Of all the sacred sugar-coated places Grandma Stuffum could violate. Blech! Not on my watch, Stuffum. Spinach. Liver. Olives. I'm glad number two isn't here to see this. Why on earth would Grandma Stuffum need an oven that size? You'll never get away with this, Grandma Stuffum. All right, now you've done it. Let's see what you think of this. Try this on for size. You're starting to irritate me. Freeze! Grandma Stuffum, I will never allow you to deny kids the sugary sweet taste of Sprinkle Puff Donuts. You're going back to prison where you'll never touch so much as a spatula again. Excellent. These donuts are making a staircase so I can escape this liver-loving inferno. Grandma, your kitchen's about to be closed. I think I'm beginning to see a pattern here. And it's that everything in this place is gigantic. Now how do I get up to those platforms? <gasps> A river of donut batter! Why, this factory can pump out enough spinach and liver donuts to force feed all the kids in the world! You know, Grandma, I had a dream last night about eating a luscious gorilla gizzard dinner, complete with cockroach stuffing, rotten sweet potatoes, and moose brain gravy. Actually, no! Stuff it, stuff em. It's time to trade in your oven mitts for handcuffs. <gasps> Looks like I should have ordered out to eat! Hmm. If my estimates are correct, the concentrated sugary sweetness found in that jelly may be just what I need to burn through the chunk wagon's protective shield. Aha! That switch must operate their injector mechanism. So much for your protective shield, Grandma Stuffum. I hope you didn't have any dinner plans, Stuffum, because I think you're gonna be a little late. Let's go! Come on! Back off! Not so fast! Take that! Sorry, ladies. Kitchen's closed. The only thing you're gonna be serving today is time. You've really outdone yourself, number two. This VR simulator is incredible. He looks so real, so pathetic. Now that's an accurate simulation. Toilinator doesn't have a clue, just like in real life. Clogging toilets with toilet paper to attack us? Of course, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Oh, yeah? You'll see! How typical. Ooh, look at that! The hit effects on my musket shots are very nice! Now, are those the polygons or particles, number two? I really can't wait to face some better opponents in this simulation, number two. Well, now, number two, after that training session, I think I'm ready for more of a challenge. Is there a super insane difficulty setting instead of super lame? Realistic to the end. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I threw this simulated toiletator out the window. We'll see about that, Count Spankulot. Hmm, maybe there's a way I can shed some light on this situation. Hands up, Spankensteins. There'll be no more bottoms busted while I'm in the neighborhood. That's it. My shots can overcharge these bug zappers to make them brighter. Now, if I can just lure those hands of justice into the light. <gasps> that kid is going to need a double cheek transplant if I don't stop that servant of spankiness. My shots may not be effective against these guys in the dark, but a well-aimed power shot should do the trick. Step away from the bottom, you spank-happy hooligans! Sorry, Count, your days of spanking are... Hey! You leave my girlfriend Lizzie out of this! No! If I don't get some light down here fast, I'm going to get my butt whooped! Hmm, maybe there's a way to switch the direction those spotlights on the clock tower are pointing. You're out of places to hide, Spankulot. Soon it'll be morning and I'll be hauling your sunburned butt back to prison. Darker? Colder? Sounds like an arctic prison cell to me, Count. And that's where you're going. Looks like you're running out of time and henchmen, Spankulot. Look on the bright side, Count. Your little spanking crusade may be over, but at least you'll be spending the morning in a nice dark prison cell. One more word, Spankulot, and you'll be peeling garlic in the arctic prison cafeteria. I've apprehended Count Spankulot, and I'm bringing him in. That's quite all right, number two. We can put him in cold storage for now, and ship him off to the moon base when we've captured the others. See you back at headquarters. Number one, out.
Nightbreeze's cavity cave. Those fireflies were right after all. Bug bright toothpaste won't be unleashed on the children of the world if the kids next door can help it. Aha! This must be Nightbrace's main computer. From here, he can control the spread of bug bright toothpaste throughout the entire world, and only I can stop him. Hmm, looks like I'm not going anywhere without those passcodes, but they've got to be around here somewhere. Maybe this other control panel does something. If this terminal had power, I could hack into it and get a passcode. Where does that power line lead? Those false teeth are blocking the flow of power. I'll have to shoot them down. One down, three to go. Now to find the next computer. That's it! Now to head back to the main computer. A river of pure fluoride! One wrong step and my entire cavity collection is history! Hmm, that gate appears to have some sort of electromagnetic seal on it. I need to short-circuit it. But how? Aha! Nightbase must use this control panel to command his Denta drones. If I can gain control of a drone, I bet I can guide it to short out that circuit. Just as I suspected, the headgear has shorted out part of the gate. Four more drones should be enough to get it open. The only filling going on here, Nightbrace, is going to be me filling you... Kids next. My shots are useless, and I'm getting the cavities drilled out of me. Maybe if I tried attacking Nightbrace from behind. Not so fast! Whew! There! The kids next door, making children's cavities and rotten teeth safe around the globe. Let's go, Nightbrace.